guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to to episode 3 of Wizardia Love Songs. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. That's the friendship love. Mm hmm. No, 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 no. And then she just separated herself from them. Damn. <sighs> of course she did no, it's complicated.
Let's talk about it later, okay? Oh. Yeah, so with this, it's just, she doesn't know. Right? Yeah, because, I mean, if you casually date her, eventually, slowly but surely, you'll fall in love with her. No, no, no. That was an interesting transition. <laughs> yeah, you say that, but mm. Yeah. No, babe, you're not an idiot.
see? It, it's like she's gonna wait for you. It gives me hope for them, truly, because sometimes you can't really rush it. You have to take your time. Enjoy for you, silly. <laughs> A weirdo for you. <laughs> Did you hear that? Silence. Well, that sounds good, sir. Yeah, come on. We have a little date, even though she's super jelly. Or, okay, this is what she put could possibly do, casually date her. We did talk about that a couple of minutes ago and such, but, yeah, that's another thing that you're thinking about. No, oh, hi! <laughs> Aww. Okay. So you rejected him first year and then you waited for him. So in a way, they waited for each other.
I'm nervous, guys. Anxiety right now, Jesus, like all. The fact that they both keep paying attention to the time. Oh, God. It's too much. Too effing much. Ooh. Yep, let's hear it. Yes. No, that's not being selfish. Oh. <laughs> That's so freaking cute. Oh my god. <laughs> the fangirl in me is just like, oh my god. <laughs> Once again, the fact that this is freaking my slash Nobara slash what's her face from Pretty Care, and we also have another Pretty Care character, aka the other love interest, Kino, but she plays more of a she, her character in the new series is like a fan favorite because everybody, all the drawings of her character, everybody thinks she's the final one, but we don't know yet. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well... 
spending time with her, going on dates, just doing regular things. Dang, I mean, we just had a girl's band cry moment up in here. Problem solved. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> instantly. Okay, let's also once again talk about um, what's her Kino's friend's sister who was also in love with you all. It, it's a little, mm, especially when she was like, "Oh, I asked her out. We're just waiting for the answer," and such. The way she looked at her and how quiet and silent it was baby girl is over here probably having like an internal breakdown you know how like okay so let me imagine like this uh, th okay imagine you're at work and you're dealing with a customer um that says something like they ask or you know you ask them a question and they don't know the answer on that which you know automatically they're kind of supposed to know the answer like if you ask them oh hey where is this gonna go and they say i don't have the information for that and you just give them this stern look of you kind of need to know that in order for this to happen and work out that's the look that she was giving her i feel like What do you not know? But I think at the same time, because of the fact is, Yuri, like, she told her something still tells me because if we're looking at it as, if this was a heterosexual relationship and it was the same situation and such, this girl, our, our blonde haired girl who was also in love with her, she would still try regardless. It's the same thing if it was two girls in love with one guy and girl A is like, I'm going to ask him out and girl B just looks at her saying like, okay, I understand, but I'm still going to try as well. It's that determination that she has because it's like, okay, it, it makes me wonder. And I think we got this answered last week. She's been in love with her since like, what, the beginning, ever since she's first met her. So at the start of their high school career and such. But, of course, I'm guessing she, um, Yori doesn't feel the same way, like, how Kino feels with her. It's like, oh, it's a friendship love. Like, I, I love you like a sister or like a really close friend and such like that. It's not where I want to take it to the next relationship or the next level with her, rather how you all want to do with Kino and such. So, it does make me wonder, like, what else is going to transpire with this? How awkward is it going to get? I love the fact that she's finally now going to write a song, which is what the girls wanted at the end of the day. But officially, she joined the band. That is the good thing, too, out of this. But um, I honestly cannot wait to see, you know, more things transpire between these two and such. I love the fact that once again, not once, but twice, she was like, I'm gonna make you fall for me, so just be ready. And it just makes you wonder, like, yeah, what, what you gonna do? What all sort of little tricks do you have? It, it's more, like, I feel like with Kino, she's, it's gonna take her maybe a little while. I don't, like, do I think we're gonna see a kiss by the end of season one? I, I would love to see it. Definitely would love to see it. Um, but I gotta be a little realistic, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna say maybe on that thought. Maybe by the end of this season, we might see it. If not, go ahead and give me a second season and we'd be all ready for that ish. But no, it, it does make me wonder, especially... 
We know there's some drama afoot. It's coming. I can feel it. I can feel it in my bones, and I'm a little scared to see how it's going to play out. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction to tours episode three of Whisper Me a Love Song. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Metro Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday for episode four. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.